Good morning. So late Friday night, I got a self-tape audition request. It was for a vet that had to be holding a cat during the audition. I tried contacting my friends that have cats, but unfortunately, all of those cats are complete up and they don't let you hold them whenever you want. And when you do hold them, when they don't want, they bite you. So I wasn't able to find a cat that would let me hold it. So I'm gonna finally film this audition. And then I also got a voiceover audition. For this audition, I need to talk about my experience being around cows and chickens and cats. And I, in the past, have been around cows. Never really, I've touched, have I touched any? I don't know. I grew up around cows and chickens for sure, like through high school. Didn't interact with them much, but like I love cows and kittens. I have fostered many kittens, so. Should I do blue? Oh, this might be too close. Is this gray too close? Darn. <laughs> On camera, it looks great. In person, it is a beautiful baby blue. I'm gonna switch it back to gray. This is gray. As I was reading the instructions for this again, just to make sure I have them, I got another self-tape audition request for my agent. For that one, it's an industrial, so I do have to memorize those lines, but the size were a bit confusing because the name of the character was labeled at the top, but then it said like what they are, which is like a coworker and a new employee. And then in the script, the coworker and the new employee were talking to each other. So I was like, what, which one am I supposed to read? I just finished recording my vo voiceover audition. So I'm gonna go edit and send it over as well as edit the farmer one, um, which I did end up using the gray backdrop because um, I was having technical difficulties. We go edit this and send it over and then hopefully um, my agents will respond because when I sent the question about my, my sides, what I was supposed to read for that audition, it was an automatic reply that they're out of the office. No, maybe I should just go with my instinct and read the character that has the most lines on those sides. Okay. Okay, it's been 15 minutes and I was able to memorize about half. I'm still a little iffy in some of the words. Like when I look at the paper after I say it, I'm like, oh, I forgot this one word in the sentence. So it's not 100% there. I really want to film this audition today because I have my day job tomorrow and the next day and it is due on Wednesday. So if I do audition, this audition it has to be today or tomorrow night after work, which tomorrow night after work, I'm going to be so tired. couple of updates. One, they want me to read for both characters in my self-tape, so I need to memorize both. I spent my lunch researching an agency, a talent agency, because talent in LA, they contacted me because they found my profile on casting networks because you can select if you are open to representation. And so I said, yeah, so they were able to get my information and contact me. So we actually set up a meeting to just chat. I looked them up on IMDb. I saw some people, their website does not reflect their talent yet. I also texted some of my friends to see if anybody had heard of them because they seem like a really new agency. So they're looking to represent me um, commercially, which would be awesome because I've been looking for an LA agent, a commercial LA agent specifically. So I'm gonna meet with them later today. And then um, after my job today, my day job, I'm gonna film that audition. But right now my lunch is over, so I need to go back to work. It's much later and I am much more exhausted. I am done memorizing one of these sides, but I still need to memorize the other one, which is much shorter. And I'm also really, really tired, so I'm considering doing this in the morning instead of right now, just because I'm so tired. I'm gonna do it right now. I convinced myself because if I wait till tomorrow and something happens in the morning or whatever, it took five minutes to memorize the other lines. So now I have both of them pretty solid and there are a couple of scenes within that page. So I think I can pause in between and just make sure I have the lines down and I think I'll be fine. So I'm gonna set up and then have my boyfriend read the other lines and do these right now. I am gonna do my slate before I bring my boyfriend in. So then right after I'm done recording it, why is it's so weird. Oh, there we go. Right after I'm done recording it, um, I can just edit it and send it over. But first I'm gonna take a bath after I film this audition because I am so sore, I'm hurting. I'm gonna edit this before bed and send it over. But I just wanna like 
stop working because I was working at the day job. I came home, we made dinner, ate dinner, and then I started memorizing. Like I just need a minute to just like watch YouTube and take a bubble bath. So this is my shirt that I often, often wear for um, office attire and I have slacks and I'm gonna put on my flats, but this is how I'm going to dress for an office job. I'll take this off. I just finished editing my audition. It's exporting and you guys, I don't like the takes. I mean, they're fine, like they're okay, but I can tell that I'm thinking about the lines. Like I can tell that I'm acting rather than just like being, you know, acting better than I see on the screen. <laughs> I do wish I took more time today, but I just had so much going on. Maybe I will record it again tomorrow morning. I don't know because I do have my office job tomorrow again. Yeah, I'm just going to submit it now. There's this thing on Casting Frontier where you can choose if you're open to finding a talent representative. And what really made me think this is not somebody that I want to go with is that I sent them my links to my YouTube channel, to my um, casting profiles, and they didn't click on them. They weren't wanting to represent me for or take a meeting with me because of my talent or my look or anything for you know commercial representation they were just casting a wide net and seeing let's see who we who we can sign let's see who's good out there it is good of course that they were taking a call and screening people like that we took a meeting together but it isn't quite what I'm looking for and I want to work with somebody who wants to work with me so I'm gonna keep looking Thank you so much for watching my vlog. Um, I'm obviously out on a hike right now. Uh, and at the end of every video, I feature another channel. This is today's feature. And if you would like to be featured on my next video, make sure that you're subscribed, like this video, and leave me a comment. Okay, I'm scared. Thank you so much for watching this week's vlog.